Uh, Martha said, "Do you know when you have to be at camp?" We do not. We uh, we do not. We uh, we don't. We have not got any letters for report dates. Um, just to give you like a, a understanding of that, usually when we leave the facility from mandatory mini camp, that would be which is which is usually in the middle of June. We, we break. already got a letter with what day you have to be back. So it just goes to show everything going on and the communication between the PA and the NFL of trying to get everything to work out. Um, I think that's what's kind of been the holdup of having a report date. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. Uh, I'm assuming, but I, at the same time, if there's if a, a letter is sent out and there's a report date, then at that time, guys will be heading to camp or choosing. I'm not playing one or the other. So uh, this whole thing is very confusing. There's a lot of things like swirling about, like guys opting in, guys opting out. Guys, somebody asks if guys don't play, will the contract just get bumped to next year? Those are questions that guys are asking that there aren't answers to yet. So um, when you ask if a guy's going to opt in or opt out, there's no option in your contract. As of right now, there is no opting in, opting out. That doesn't uh, exist. So um, right now, the only thing that I can uh, guarantee you is that there are a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. So uh, you'll hear that from every guy. There's been a ton of calls and each call, maybe one or two things get answered, but there's a hundred more uh, where guys are still trying to figure it out. I, I, I'm hoping that changes this week. So we'll we'll have to really see um, exactly how that goes. But um, it seems like there has been some type of movement. I guess it hasn't seemed like it, but you know movement has to be coming because this is getting too close. <laughs> no, that's very true. That's very true.